good noon well this is Ivan Amer it's about 12.30 12.37 12.38 Eastern Standard Time in Canada I woke up like two hours ago yeah what did you do Ivan I watched Rob Rob's walkthrough of I watched his walkthrough his one and a half hour walkthrough I watched a few YouTube clips and now I'm making this video. Off today. I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now today I'm off. So I'm happy I'm off today. And then tomorrow I work at Dinty's. Sorry, at Coco 40. Then Saturday I'm off again. Yeah. Now this video I'm going to take my shower. Like go to the store, get my beer and smoke some enjoy showing you guys. After that, I might rewatch Nia Tusa's video with uh, Nick Gillard. That was a sick video. I might rewatch that. Yeah. It's a video of Nia Tusa. He takes Nick Gillard out to dinner. Nick Gillard is going to be involved in Nia Tusa's video 2 and video 3, by the way. I think he's, he's his choreographer. With the action sequences. Yeah. He's in Nia Tusa's video 2 and video 3. Video 3. I recommend you guys support him. Go watch his channel, Star Wars Theory. He has his own saber line, theorysabers.com. www.theorysabers.com. I recommend you guys show him some love. That's how nice I am. Walk on morning your brown through. That's how nice I am. Yeah. I mean, how much would you make Zayn's for? I'll make it for $1.6 billion. If I make more than 10, if I make 10, I'll make it for 1.3 by Zayn's movie, but I'm going to make more than 10. I'm going to make it probably at least 14, 15, 16 million dollars in my book, or even more. <coughs> Maybe 20 billion. But 1.6 is enough. I'm not going to go any higher than 1.6. That's more than enough money towards the movie. I'll make Zayn's for $1.6 billion. Do I get unheard of horrible thing? Action sequences and uh, horror for the demon wolves and bats and crows for the movie. I make an amazing movie. I have one beer from yesterday left. Some Sarah? This Saturday, I gotta clean my room. Sweep it, mop it. I have like a hundred, like twenty bucks worth of cans. In my room. A bunch of bags, a bunch of bags there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's starting to pile up, take up space. I have to start catching my cans soon. Yeah, so that's how much money I'm gonna make Zane's for. One point six billion dollars. Most expensive movie ever made in movie history. Hence why Sky's name will blow out of the water. Because no movie has ever been made. No movie has ever been made for a billion dollars. In Hollywood, the highest budget for a movie was like six forty-five, seven hundred million, which was The Hobbit. The Hobbit was made for about six forty-five million for the three movies. And they probably spent a good maybe one hundred million marketing, so they, it was made for seven forty-five million dollars. But that's for three movies, right? I'm making Zanes for one point six million dollars for the three movies. A lot of money. A lot of money, yeah. That's like Peter Jackson, but this will be shocking with my, with my budget. I, you're making Zayn for 1.6? I'm like, yeah, Peter. He's like, holy shit. Looking at a, a, a revolutionization of technology. I'm looking at future, you're looking at a revolutionization of technology I'm for your war building, for your, the horror of the wolves and bats, and your, your wars, and your action scenes as I'm in. You're looking at a sick movie. Yeah, you're looking at a sick movie. But just because you put a lot of money into it doesn't mean your movie will be good. You need to also write a good script. And your directors have to take their notes out with their prep. They don't win and tell a good story. Sim Sarah? Yeah. <coughs> Sim Sarah? I 
That's why those Zanus are lucky, man. They're gonna be experienced out worldwide favorite me for Zanus. Or the movie, man. They're fucking lucky, man. The horror of the deep. They're part of that buzz in the movie. And they're gonna be fighting all these horrific devils, man, in the movie. I do think the Orc High Arm and two tires were pretty freaky. They're pretty freaky. Nothing. Like the Zay the, 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 the beings and Zanes are gonna make these guys look PG, man. They're PG PG. Make them look good. People tell me, yeah, I mean, if you thought my Orc High Army and Two Towers were pretty freaky and the Ring Race and Fellowship Ring, the Ring Race and Fellowship Ring were very freaky. Whereas in the other movies they were not as freaky, obviously. But in Fellowship Ring, the Ring Race were fucking freaky. People will tell me, yeah, I mean it's gonna make these beings look good, man. Looking at demons. Looking at demons for, for Zanus, man. Demons, yeah. Looking at devils and demons for Xanus. Samsara? You're looking at devils and demons for Xanus. Yeah, man. Devils and demons. <coughs> for Xanus. I'm sorry. Demons. So if I make Zanus for one point six million dollars, I can put eight hundred million towards visual effects. So fifty million towards costumes, armor, and weapons, and the mask, prosthetic mask. Like forty million towards extras. Thirty-five million to thirty-seven million whatever it is towards set building. 20 million towards IMAX cameras over the cameras. And then 800 million towards visual effects. You divide it by three, that's 266 million going towards each volume. So 266 million is going towards visual effects for each, special effects for each movie. That's where looking at a beautiful world, better than James Cameron's Avatar. You're looking at a war better than Helm's Deep. And you're looking at beings that will make the work high and ring race Lord rings look good. Because the Lord of the Rings was PG-13. The first one was 14+, plus, because the, the first one is the darkest of the three, obviously, when you're watching. The first Lord of the Rings is the darkest of the three, 14+, plus, whereas Two Towers and Fellowship of the Ring uh, and Return of the King are PG-13. My movie's rated R. It's not PG-13. Because Aaron's in the more demons. But I'm going to tone down the sex scenes. I'm not going to have full-on news like Game of Thrones. I'm going to have partial moves like... Ivan, what are, you, what are you thinking of for the for the sex scenes? I'm thinking something like Underworld, The Rise of the Liking, something like that. It's, you don't believe shoulder area, shoulders much stuff. It's partial nudes. That way the actors are comfortable and they're not, they're comfortable. I, I'm not going to have full on nudes for fucking Zanus, no. Even though it's Ray Air, I'm not going to have full on nudes. I don't want the actors to feel uncomfortable, I'm sorry. Well, Zane, if you burn the Game of Thrones, yeah, I'll be burning the Game of Thrones. I'll be burning Lord of the Rings. It's a fucking masses of a story, man. Well, you can't really compare Game of Thrones with Zane because you can't really compare a movie, sh a television show with a movie. It's a different medium. Like a television show, you have more contacts. You have more, it's very character driven. Whereas a movie, it's more like spectacle. And there, it's character driven, but it's, it's more rushed because movies are not as long as television shows. Television shows are telling you like a complete story over like eight, nine, ten episodes. So you're looking at uh, hours of footage. Whereas a movie is maybe two, three hours, and that's it. But say if it's done, we burn on the rings. We burn on the rings. <laughs> if it's done right, you have to write a good script and you you have to make sure the directors are prepped, they take their notes and go get a good movie. And you pour a lot of money towards the movie, 
towards spectacle and, and, and an amazing uh, horror, you're looking at an amazing movie or masterpiece. Some Sarah. You're looking at a masterpiece for saying this. As my tuner is like, I can't wait to go with you, I mean, I know I'm excited too. I can't wait to play the role of Prince Tactius. Prince of the North, yeah. I know, are the Northerns called Northerners or Northerns? No, in the book I call them Northerns. I call the South, the South, the people in the South, Southerns. And so I'm going to tell my editor, my proofreader editor, do not change it to Northerns and Southerns. No, they're called Southerns and Northerns in my book. Northerns and the Southerns. Whereas most books they have, they call them Southerners or Northerners. I don't want you calling them Northerners or, th or Southerns. Southerners. They're called Southerns and Northerns in my book. From Sarah. You have to tell the editor that I know she knows, which doesn't change your book, obviously. Yeah. Proofreading, they don't, they don't, they don't touch your story. They just handle your grammar, sentence structures, punctuations, spelling, that kind of stuff. Whereas they don't touch your story. Yeah, I want it proofread. I don't want it copy edited. No, don't touch my story. Just type, just fix my grammar, my spelling, punctuations, typos, all that stuff. Some sir, sentence structures, all that stuff. Sir, that's why the gates want to control my book. They know it's a big brand, yeah. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a big IP man, yeah. I is gonna make his billions off this and with that money he can easily start his own film studio with this there another and make his movie for way more money than the whole movies. He'll make his money back because he has the keys to the kingdom, yeah. A one point six million dollar investment was my movie is not a risky investment. I might have money back. <laughs> my billions back. <coughs> oh, yes. It's an unheard of budget, man, yeah. Sarah? I'm not selling, but I have the keys out to sell to them, and the book is mine. I'm putting my blades off it, and they're not touching my money. Yeah, there you go. Just like they won't let me and my son touch touching their money. They're not touching our money either. They're not touching my money either, yeah. It's my money. Zane's book. Zane's brand is mine. I own it. It's going to be the biggest brand in the engine industry. Bigger than Star Wars, bigger than Lord of the Rings, bigger than Harry Potter, bigger than Transformers, bigger than The Matrix, bigger than Gladiator, bigger than Game of Thrones. Biggest brand in the history, saying this. Some Sarah? Yeah. How much money do you think you'll make off your book, Ivan? 10 to like 20 billion, or maybe more. I might make maybe 30, 40, but I don't know. But chances are 10 to 20 billion around there, around that range. I make my royalty check for the, for the, for the, for the book. Maybe 15 billion, 16 billion bucks. 14 billion bucks. That's why I say that we shop when she asked me how much money I made off my book. She gives you that evil look. How much money do you have your book, by the way, honey? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this girl's fucking evil, man. No, I've been seriously, how much money did you make? Yeah, I made like $14 million in my book. You made $14 million off your book? I'm like, yeah, she's like, holy shit. I, with that money, we can buy our jets. We can build that dream $600 million house. We can start our own film studio with Baron Hollywood, I mean, yeah. Start our own film studio, build that beautiful studio lot, like Gran Turismo. Put $400 million towards it, we build it. 
to be nice and build our house, buy our jets, get our nice cars, get our clothes, our yachts, yeah. Go on a vacation, save the best weeks in the world. The best weeks in the world we can afford. The best weeks in the world range from like 10, 15, 20, 30,000 dollars a night. You have billions in your account, that's all pocket change. Yeah, cost you a few million bucks if you stay here for three weeks. But, I don't know, two million, three million dollars in cost for staying in a hotel suite. It's pocket change if you have tens of billions in your bank, man. Not 14, 15, 16, 17 billion in your bank. It's pocket change. It's all chump change, yeah. You build that dream of 600 million house. Yeah. Like, incredible. It's a burden, that. In their pool, moving, moving floors, moving couches, automatic doors, GPS, high tech showers, high tech toilets, everything's pipped out. Air ventilation system for smoking. My sister doesn't smoke, but she obviously she she obviously smoke a cigar at the party. Guarantee she'll smoke a cigar, but she doesn't smoke cigarettes. But she'll guarantee be smoking a cigar at the party, obviously. The actors are gonna want to smoke a cigar. Yeah, I mean, give me a fucking cigar. And all the actors smoke a cigar at my party. I'm gonna buy cigars for everyone at the party. One cigar for everyone. Yeah, I want you go. I'm gonna tell the team. I want you going to find a a, a Cuban cigar store in uh, in Vancouver, which there is obviously, and buy a good like 24 cigars. You know, that way, in the party, the actors can smoke it. A nice Cuban cigar. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking nice. Uh, my party, my Zane's movie. I told you, you think Nia 2 Star Wars Theory is a crazy Star Wars fan? Nothing compared to Zane's. He, he, he's going to be a much crazier Zane's fan. Because even though George Lucas is famous, he's not as famous as me. He's not the son of God. I'm more famous than George Lucas, yeah. But I respect the man a lot, man. The man created Star Wars. And so when I see you, I'm like, hey, it's an honor to meet you, sir. He's like, I mean, come on, man. Why are you being so, uh, no, seriously, man, it's hard to meet you, man. You're a fucking legend. You create Star Wars, man. You change the lives of millions of fans around the world. You create Star Wars, man. He's like, thank you, Ivan. I was like, no, seriously, George, like, thank you, man. Like, you, you, you change a lot of lives around the world. You create Star Wars. I respect him a lot, yeah. But even though I respect him a lot, he's not as big as me. That's my point. Some Sarah. Yeah. Some Sarah? Yeah, the YouTubes will be going crazy for Zanus. Once he sees a Zanus, once he sees a trailer for the George Lucas documentary, he'll be going crazy for that. Oh my god, I can't wait to see this documentary. And once he sees a trailer for the documentary, for the behind the scenes, movie trailers, the game trailer, he'll be going crazy. Oh my fucking god, I can't wait for this, for the game, for the movie, the documentary, the whole world's going crazy, yeah. These dudes are going crazy. John Camp, Rob and are going crazy. The world will be going crazy for that George Lucas documentary. Obviously. The Sky Source News, the world's going crazy for that too. The announcements of the casting announcement, the directing announcement, 17, the movies, Greenland, the whole world's going crazy for that. The Sky Source News. We also have the documentary trailers, the game trailers, the movie trailers. A lot of things to be excited for. Yeah. You think John Campbell goes crazy for the big movies that come out in Hollywood? Nothing. For Zane, you'd be going bonkers. Like, holy shit, man. Oh my fucking god, I can't wait for this movie. Why are we going going crazy? I can't wait to get this on 4K. I was saying, yeah. 4K, by the way. I was saying, yeah. <laughs> on 4K. It's a not a bad impression, huh? <laughs> yeah.
So your comic will be directed for Kabura, yeah. We direct the fucking blue of our company. Because the theory thing doesn't work, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I make something crazy like 40, 50 billion bucks off the book, I can I can afford to put 10 billion and build my own theory chain. But the theory chain thing is, is it's a waste of money to build a theory chain just to release one movie. And the theory chain doesn't work, economically speaking, for my movies. Because you're looking at the all time slots booked, like for months, like sold out. All the time slots are sold out. Seven days a week for a couple months. And if people want to see it again, it's booked for another couple months. Because the whole world is watching it. It's just crazy. That's why the best thing for me to do is either streaming or direct the 4K Blu-ray. But the 4K Blu-ray, they have to ship it. But it's not as crazy as a theater thing. A theater thing is fucking crazy. Yeah. I have to build like 2,000 theaters around the world. All over Europe, Canada, America. It's crazy. The best thing to do... George, I even, don't even think about building a view chain. I won't be able to afford it anyways. I'm probably going to make like $14, 50 million on my book. Just sign with Amazon. They already have the, all, the, all the resources for you. They have a, a big distribution distribution center around the world. They can they can, they can they can distribute the movie worldwide, Ivan. Yeah. That's why I'm going to sign with Amazon. And the deal is 80-20. I take 80. You take 20% of the profits. That's the deal. For the merch and for the movie. Whereas a game I'm going to sign with Sony and Microsoft for that. They take 5%, I take 95% of the money. Or I pay them a fee, millions, to put to put my, my game in their system. And I take 100% of the profits. Or the best thing to do is you give them a small piece of it, they get 5%, I take 95% of the money for the game. I won't put 10% of them, no. For the game, you get 5%. I get 95% of the money. Me and my going to get 95% of the money. That's the deal. Because the game, I'm agreeing with the game because the game might be number one, man. The game, I, I think, might beat out the merchandise. The game will beat out the merchandise, guaranteed. Because people are more excited for games and merchandise. But the movie might beat out the game. I think the game might beat out the movie and the merch. The merchandise. It might be number one. That's not very agree with the game. Sarah? And that's why I'm very agree with the game. Because the game might be number one. It might be number one, guys. The game. Yeah, man. Unreal Engine 5. I showed you that Major's Awakens game. Yeah, looking at technology that for my game. Making his answer for $500 million. That's so how Rabbit's like, Ivan, sign me up, fam. I'm excited for this game, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait to play this game, you know what I'm saying? I know, Rabbit, I'm excited too. I can't wait to watch your walkthrough. Hey, Rabbit, just do your thing. Give the fans a good experience. Yeah, I don't worry about it. I'll give them a good experience. You know, work hard because I paid them $700,000. That's a lot of money for a fucking walkthrough, yeah. All you gotta do is edit your videos, record your videos, edit your videos, get your $700,000 check. A lot of money for everybody. Nice side money for everybody, right? Yeah. I'm Zara. Yeah, man, those Zayn stars are lucky. That's why all the Hollywood actors are going to be narrowed with all Zayn stars. Those are going to be crazy, man. Like, please, John, can you give it to me for man? Please help me out here, man. Or what guys that will. He doesn't give work. To Oscar Isaac, Adam Driver, Daisy really doesn't give work, man. Yeah, he's selfish. I'm not giving you work. If I ask you for work, you wouldn't give me work either. I'm not giving you work. I don't give work, obviously. Because John Baega is selfish. He's selfish, sir. Yeah. Because he knows if he asks those guys for word, they wouldn't give word either. That's why John Baega is not going to give word. Because he's selfish. John Baega is selfish, yeah. 
doesn't want those actors to be like, like him. He doesn't want them to rise to his level. Because I told you, all the Zane stars you do Zanus, they're going to be world famous. And they're going to launch their careers. They're going to be very successful in Hollywood or pretty successful in Hollywood. They'll become A-listers, bigger A's, because they're all big. But I told you, there's still a side tension. That's why they're going to bang on. I'm like, look, man, you're not good for the greatest of kind of movies. I'm saying that. You're not good, man. You're not good for the Grey Escape of Keanu Reeves. I keep saying that. You're not good. Some Sarah. Yeah. Keanu Reeves called your answer and outfit felt like shit during the five years of Zanes. Now they want to experience what you guys experience. The international glory and fame and success. Uh, for the gray escape. You're not good for the gray escape, guys. I'm sorry. But they're gonna beg, man. They're gonna beg their ass off. Look, man, you can beg all you want. You're not good for the gray escape, Keanu Reeves. Look at him saying that. You can't be selfish, guys. I even fuck those arrows. Three signs. I'm like, guys, the whole point is you're not good for the gray escape. I'm not gonna have the same actors in my fucking movie. It's common sense, guys. I'm not gonna have the same actors in my fucking movie, guys. I'm sorry. My nose is pissing me off. Is this stuff diving a tiny little bit? It's fine, but it's a bit like boogery. Yeah. And it's because of the cold. The, the, over the past couple of days when I worked, it was fucking cold. I might have caught a little bit of a cold, but I don't know. A little bit of a cold. <laughs> There. Yeah. That's my 17. My second is I'll pay a 4 million bonus for Zanus. That's two point four million dollars in their bank. Oh, they can put a down payment on their house. Get their nice $180,000 cars. They get 1 million year side for the four years of Zanus. That's $4 million. 150 k post million bonus. And a rich 6 million of the box office royalties. It's a good deal for the for the secretaries. For my movie. For Zanus. For my company. My Sky is supposed to name the company. And the other three, accountant, lawyer, had a production, they get six million bonus. Two million years higher for the four years, that's eight million bucks. That's four point million dollars in their bank, that's a lot of money for them. They got a rich 12 million of the box office royalties for the movie. A 250k post million bonus. Then for the Great Escape, they get eight million bonus. The second is get six million bonus. They get 1.1 million million salary. 250k post million bonus, and a rich 10 million of the box office royalties. The other guys get six million dollars for the royalties for the gray escape and a 350k post wing bonus. That's a good deal for them. I won't with the merch, but I know you're not getting money off the merch. You only get a piece of the movie, that's it, not the merch. So, Sarah, that's the deal. If you don't like it, you're more than welcome to work in Hollywood and be like, I'm not going offer. It's a deal, I mean, yeah, it's a good deal. Because they're greedy, they want more money. I'm like, guys, this is not money, I'm not paying no money, man. Why? If you're paying the bigger agents, there's more money. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're bigger than you. They're the fucking they're the, they're the, they're the, the stars of the movie, yeah. Because the truth is, most most bigger agents in Hollywood make more than the executives in Hollywood. They make more than them, yeah. Because they're the stars of the movie, yeah. Actors are big, man.
The hollowed actors are even... The, 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 a lot of them make more than the executives because of the stars of the movie. But the advertising for the movie, yeah, that's why they get paid so much money. A lot of them, yeah. And the presidents and various who I hired, John Favreau, Peter Rice, um, James Gunn, Peter Safran, I don't know, the Russo brothers, you know what I'm saying? There's various who I hire, obviously. And all those guys will be sending in the resume because they, they went out of Hollywood. Yeah, I'd rather work for Ivan than work in fucking Hollywood. Because I know once Ivan's king and his new and his new and queen with him, their movie is the main event. All these Hollywood movies are a side attention. They, 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 they don't want to be left behind. They want to be saved. James Gunn's DC universe will be the side attention when I'm gang. And the, the DC thing is successful and it becomes big. Even that's a side attention once I start saying this. The DC movies are not a side attention. My Zane's movie is the main event. The whole world's the main excited for my movie more than these Hollywood movies. Yeah. I think I might go for Peter Rice. I might choose him. And I might have maybe John Favreau, maybe James Gunn. I don't know. Um, Dave Filoni. There's a lot of cannons out there. I mean, what about Bob Iger and like David Zazel? Those guys are too old. Bob Iger is 73 now. He's in his retirement stage. By the time I said Skyzels will be in his 80s. He's too fucking old. <laughs> and David Zazel is an old dude. He's 64 now. By the time I said Skyzels will be in his 70s. Early 70s. Those guys are too old. They'd rather work for me than work at all, but those guys are too old, man. That's why they wish they were younger. I wish I was fucking like 20 years younger. You know, I say, but those guys are too old, man. Don't hang on saying, yeah, they're too old. Kevin Feige is locked on with Marvel, man. With Disney, he's going to extend Kevin Feige. They love Kevin Feige. And Kevin Feige is too expensive. He's going to demand, like, like, 200 million royalties or something like that. He's greedy, man. 150, $200 in royalties from all my movies. Because he's greedy and he's big, too. He's the one who, who what? He's responsible for Marvel's success, right? The first three phases, phase four was, was, a, was a crap shoot, but the first three phases were, were very successful for Marvel. Yeah, but Kevin Feige is too expensive, and Disney will extend Kevin Feige. He's locked on for, with his contract, yeah, yeah. Disney loves Kevin Feige, yeah, they love him. And Sarov is good, too. I don't mind having one woman... <coughs> <coughs> one woman president, but I mean, and so off is good too. But I want my presence to be men. I don't mind having a one woman president, maybe one woman, one man. But and so off is good too. She was the former executive at Warner Bros. former CEO of Warner Bros. Right now, it's David Zaslav, I believe. Yeah. Or I might be wrong. I'm not sure. I think she was a former CEO of Warner Bros. But now David Zaslav is a new CEO of Warner Bros. Either CEO or she was president or like a higher executive. I don't know. And so I'm not sure. Something like that, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I want to raise. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> the team's gonna be begging me, my son, for a raise. Ivan, are you gonna give? Are you, are you gonna give us a raise for each movie? Yeah, I will. I'll give you a two million raise for your bonus and a four million raise for your royalty check, and a one hundred k raise for your for your base. I have about five hundred k raise. I'm like, no, you get one hundred k raise. That's good enough. That's sixty thousand dollars actually making. That's a lot of money, man. That's a good deal for you. So I'm being greedy, guys.
Some sour? Yeah. Because the team might want... The team might want maybe what? Like an 8 million, 10 million year salary. I'm like, you guys are fucking crazy. I'm not going to take up 200 plus dollars of my money to pay you that. You're fucking crazy, man. Like, uh, your, your salary is through the budget. You're costing me like 50 plus million dollars. Just pay you 1 million, 2 million dollars. I'm not going to pay you fucking 10 million dollars. You're fucking crazy. You're affecting my budget. I'll give you a nice bonus so you can get your cars and your, put that one on your house. And you get your rich rolls check. And your rich base. That's good enough. And your pulse bonus. That's good enough. The only ones who make a lot of money are the presidents, because they're the presidents of my company. The presidents are making a lot of money. They're making like a bigger ASR contract, but the the, the um the other guys make like a smaller ASR contract. Which is good enough, man. It's a good deal for them. Oh, you'd actually consider hiring like Bob Iger and all of them and they was as of yeah, if they were younger, but they're too old, man. They're fucking they're in their seventies, man. By the time I start guys are in their eighties, they're too old. You don't want to hire old people for like, you know, so yeah. They is as of younger than Bob Iger, but he's sixty four now. I'll be king in a good maybe like seven, eight years. Nine years from now. They was as well being in the seventies, he's too old. By the time he did the five movies, he's ninety. He's too fucking old. Hire younger people who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, early 60s. That's good. Like Peter Rice, John Favreau, those guys. I'm sorry. Peter Rice, I'll pay him the James Gunn contract. 24 million bonus. And I can give him um, a 4 million year side for the first year. 2.7, 2.8 million for the other years. And he gets like 60, 65 million of the box office royalties for the, for the movie. That's a good deal for Peter Rice. One of, uh, the, president, the president of my company. With John Favreau, I'm paying him more because he's worth more than Peter Rice. He gets his $34 million bonus, $6 million year salary, um, $3.5 million for the other years. And he gets like $100 million in royalties. $105 million in royalties, John Favreau. Because he's big. I have about $200 million. I'm like, no, John Favreau, I'm not going to pay you that. No, John, you're getting greedy. No, you get $100 million in royalties. That's good enough for the movie. You don't make that in Hollywood. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I don't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, you don't make this in Hollywood. This is a good deal for John Favreau. If I choose him. Some Sarah? And the head chefs, I'll sign second year. First year is too early. The photographers, web design, and graphics, I have to sign those guys early first year. But the head chefs, I don't need, I'll sign them second year, early second year, when I sign the actors. That way, that way they don't have to wait two years until they get paid. So Tony, Eric, Rezahaki, I'll sign early second year when I sign the stars. Tony gets his $100,000 salary for the, starting the third year. You work seven days a week for one year, except for Christmas time. The holidays, they get time off. And after the holidays, they work fourth year. Tony gets another $100,000 check for two years of work. So he gets two hundred dollars for two years of work. And he gets his $2,000 gift card for Tony. That's a good deal for him and boss my dishwashers. And Eric Rezahaki, I'll sign him really second year. They get a $15,000 bonus, which is nine grand for tax. That's going to help them out for the one year. And after that, they have to tell the Coco Fruity boss they can't work there anymore. I need them in Switzerland. They have to work. They're going to work seven days a week the uh, third year, and they get 200 k And then the holidays, Christmas time, they get like three weeks off. They spend time with their family. And fourth year, they work again for all year, and they get another $200,000 check. And after filming is done, they get another $50,000 bonus. 
That's going to do it for Eric Razaki. And Eric has to train Razanaki to become amazing chess man companies. And Sarah, how to make dessert, everything. Eric will train them. Because Eric's trained. He trained under Alvin. He knows how to make desserts, everything. So, he, Eric, you have to train them. Yeah, I'll train them. Yeah, train them how to make the, the food look beautiful. Train them how to make good pizza, how to how to make desserts, the, 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 the pork and everything, how to make it look beautiful. Yeah, I'll train them. And he trains them to become amazing chefs for my company, Rezanaki. And for the Grey Escape, they get a 20, a 20000 bonus for $50,000 salary for one year of work. Ten months to like 12, 12 months of work. And they got another twenty thousand dollar bonus after filming the design with the Great Escape. And for thirty, you need to make five hundred k, twenty five thousand dollar signing bonus. After filming the design, they got another twenty thousand dollar signing bonus. So Sarah, they got a fifty thousand dollar raise for each movie. And Tony makes two fifty k for the Great Escape. One year of work, and he gets his two thousand dollar gift card. He doesn't get a bonus though. He's a boss of dishwashers, Tony. So Sarah. When the Kung Fu boss, he pisses off. Yeah, he will. He will. I guarantee you, Reza, Hockey, and Tony are not going to tell them they're working for me. But they're going to tell them, yeah, I can't work anymore. I got another job. And the Kung Fu boss will be like, why? Yeah, I got another job, man. Sorry. What job is it? Yeah, I got another job at another company. But they're not going to mention my company because they, they don't want him to feel like shit. But he'll know because he saw my videos. Yeah, Ivan off, Ivan's king now. He made his money. He offered Reza and Hockey a lot of money and Tony a lot of money. And they're, they're gonna work for him, yeah. And we're all left behind. He's gonna be pissed off. Obviously. Hey man, can you give Ivan a good word, man? Please. As a word, but I will. They don't get work. They don't want him taking the job. They're selfish. I'm not giving you work. I don't want you taking my job. This is my head shot job. It's not yours. I'm not, I don't want you taking my job. Yeah, I'm not gonna give word, obviously. Tony won't give word either. He doesn't want anyone taking his 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 his, his, his job, man. As the boss of dishwasher of my company. Yeah, Tony's selfish too. <laughs> He's selfish. <laughs> When it comes to money, success, and famous, well, people are selfish. They're selfish, man. We live in a greedy, corrupt world, yeah. Sincere? I'll show you guys my incredible clip again. I'm gonna want a nice house like that, man. A nice fucking house. Yeah. My house is so top notch. The Howard actors and they walk in like, holy shit. I, this is your house? I'm like, yeah, this is my house. Holy shit. I, I thought I was rich. I feel like shit. My house is so, me and my son's house is so pimped out, man. It's top notch. 600 million dollar house, man. Everything is pimped out. Automatic doors, moving couches, moving floors. Water coming down. Everything's top notch.
Mr. Dever, it's my company, guys. You guys are a boss. We're taking on a little of the actors. Can't have my partners living in a motel. House? Is it a house? It's my house. I have several. I'm not using that one. Stay as long as you need. Yeah, that's I don't know what to say. <laughs> How about thanks? This is our new house. Okay. Easy Tiger. It's being loaned to us. Mm. This is homie. Nice little actor. It's a bird Never bought it from an eccentric billionaire who liked to come and go without being seen, so the house has multiple hidden exits. Good thing we won't stand out. We don't want to attract any unnecessary attention. It's got a big yard! This is... isn't this even much? Would you rather be at the motel? Couches? Yeah, man. We don't want a high house like that. It's a bird. That house is probably $300, $250 dollars. Mine's six hundred million dollars. Everything is pimped out. That's why the hard actors will be shocked when they walk into my house. Even Keanu Reeves and Scott Drives will be shocked. Those guys are rich. Ivan, this is your house? I'm like, yeah, like holy shit. I thought I was rich. I mean they can't afford a house like that, yeah. I heard of house. When they part out my house for the gray escape. Yeah. Tony was a hacky and Eric will be shocked my house. Ivan, this is your house? Holy shit. You have a nice fucking place here. Holy shit. No, Zen. Yeah, they're all shocked. <laughs> Those guys will be really, the crewmen and all them, the, the head chefs and all them will be really shocked because those guys are not millionaires. Was the Hollywood actors are shocked because they're millionaires? They have nice houses. They're not as shocked as the, the like Eric Reza hacking all them, because Eric Reza hacking them are not millionaire, millionaires. They're rich, but they're not millionaires. But they're shocked with my house. I remember when I went this poor dishwasher. I heard over forty. Now he owns a six hundred dollar house. They're shocked, and they 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 party up my uh, my, my house. They have a good time at the party. Yeah, uh, Tony gets drunk <laughs> at the party. <laughs> Whereas Eric and uh, Reza hacky don't drink. Eric drinks, but Reza hacky don't drink. But they're gonna have a good time at the party, obviously, in my house. You can drink your Coke, your Seven Up, you can dance, have a good time. They don't smoke either. Tony smokes. He smokes vapor, but Tony will guarantee smoke a cigar with me. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, give me a cigar. He smokes a cigar with me. But he doesn't smoke cigarettes anymore. He smokes vape, vape. He vapes, he smokes vape, vapor cigarettes. Yeah. He used to smoke when I started when I started working at uh at Coco Forty. He was, he smoked cigarettes and now he he does vape. He smokes vape, yeah. Tony. But he'll get wasted at the party. He gets drunk. Tony gets drunk when we have the party. He gets wasted. <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> Whereas Res and Hockey don't drink. They don't drink. So them and their wives won't drink. Because I'll bring their wives with them when they sign the contracts. I mean, the wives can have a good time with their husbands, obviously. I'm not going to sign their wives, but Reza and Hacky and Eric and all of them, they can bring their wives with them to, to, to sign the contracts. When they sign the contracts, they can part up my house. But I'm not signing their wives. Their wives will not be working for my company, but they're going to be a part of the party, which is nice, obviously. So, Sarah?
Yeah, remember that guy with the basketball, the boss, and the grapples too? Think of some of that from you guys and we're boss. We wear our nice suits, we're in our office, we're boss now, yeah. We're boss, yeah. We're a company. Some Sire. It's already 1.30, guys. Yeah. Are results? Some sir? Now you guys know what my a copy will have a waterman. When I do tables in my nice yacht. With the Zane stars, yeah. Tavery's in a fucking yacht, man. It's fucking nice perk. I'm gonna do parties in my yacht too, man. They drive in the ocean and put music. I will get drunk. We're in the yacht. Amazing party, yeah, in the yacht. The yacht party was very fun. It'll be more fun than the house party. Even though my house is high end, top notch, partying up in a yacht is more fun than partying up in a house, right? The yacht party will be very, 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 very like high end, man. That's fucking nice, nice perk. Probably up in a yacht, man. Yeah. So the Zane's house will be will, will be getting drunk a lot of times. Yeah, I want to be doing a lot of parties during the five years of Zane's, man. A lot of parties with the actors. The once production hits, there's no more parties, and now it's time to work. Hey guys, you guys got drunk with me for many times during the four years, during the three years. Production, we're not going to be getting drunk. We have to work now because now we're we're filming the movie. And after filming is done, we do, I do like a crazy last day of filming party with the whole cast and crew. We get drunk in the middle of nowhere. It's been crazy. The, the final day shooting party. So once shooting ends, I do a big party with the whole cast and crew. We all get drunk before they, everyone's sent home. And post production begins, right? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, my car will be done, much guys. Grand Turismo studio lot. The actors will be blown on my studio lot too. Peter will be like, Ivan, this is your studio lot? I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit, this is fucking nice. This is nicer than Hollywood. Yeah, it's fucking nice, man. Like, Grand Turismo is like fucking nice. The golf course grass, you know, it's in the nice buildings, the lights up at night, the generators, something fucking nice. But tell the architects, I want it like this, like Grand Turismo. Okay, Ivan, that's what you're saying. 
I was like, Ivy, that's beautiful. George was like, Ivy, that's beautiful, I know. And they build it like Grand Turismo. It's like fucking nice. Let's see a lot. Yeah. Some Sarah. Yeah. My couple will be top notch. And those ain't such a lucky. Fucking lucky, man. They're lucky. That's what all the whole rackers are bailing for word. Yeah, man, they're desperate. I don't even wear those Zane stars. They're selfish. They're selfish people, I'm sorry. They're selfish people. Give me a second, guys. I have to use the bathroom. I'll be back in a sec. Don't hate me, son. It's going to be very normal, wait.
Our guys in back, sorry for the long wait, Matthew's in back. You guys waited a good, I don't know, like six minutes, six, seven minutes. Skip the video if you don't wait, guys. You don't like waiting. But well, I'm pretty sure most of you guys do. You skip the video, right? And I recommend you do that. Whenever I go, whenever, whenever I have to use the bathroom, just skip the video. We don't have to wait. Yeah, looking at Unreal Engine 5 technology for my game, guys. Crusaders, the great escape. Remember that car chase scene in the Matrix Awakens demo thing that I showed you guys? Yeah, things will happen for my game. Like the great escape, we have an amazing car chase like that. Will the game be multiplayer? Yeah, the game I most likely will have it split screen. Or I might have it multiplayer, but it's not split screen. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the Grey Escape. You play as me, you play as my sim, another in the game. Whereas Cannabis and all of them are CPU characters. And they're in the cutscenes, all the stuff right here. Some Sarah? Zane's a lot of crazy robot buzz, guys. Something fucking crazy, yeah. There's a buzz. Some Zara? Crazy what I was, guys, for the movie. Something crazy. Something crazy for the buzz. Movie. You think Star Wars, Avengers, Endgame, and all that stuff, and fitting why crazy buzz? Zayn's is going to blow that buzz out of the water. Looking at worldwide, especially Europe, North America, that's the main place going crazy. You also have the foreign world like China, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, New Zealand, Australia. They're all going crazy for the fucking movie, yeah. Will Skyscrapers be the only business you start? Yes. Skyscrapers will be the only business I'm going to start. As that's enough money for me, my sim and other. My sim will tell me, I, we, don't, we don't need to start any other business. This is enough money. Yeah, we're going to make our billions off the, the game, movie, and the merch. It's enough money for us. We don't need more money. And I might open up my own bar at Vancouver, Vancouver, maybe. But, I mean, that's it. I might open up my own bar, maybe. Have my own bar. I might own my own bar, like a big bar in Vancouver. That's it. But yeah, Skyrim team is more than enough money for you guys. You know, it's more than enough money for us. 
We'll need more money. From Zara. We don't need more money to rise around there. I finally get to get nice clothes, man. My whole life I've been wearing shitty clothes. No, I had a few nice clothes in my life, obviously, but uh, like now I actually get to look fly and like get nice fucking clothes, man. <laughs> nice shoes, nice pants, nice shirt, nice V-necks, yeah. What's up? My sister and other will tell me once we register for the bank cards in Vancouver. My sister and I like, Ivan, you want to buy that jet? Yeah, let's buy that jet. You want to buy our two jets? You want to buy the yacht? You want to go clothes shopping? Yeah, let's go clothes shopping. You want to build that six hundred house? Like yes, yes, we let's build it. We build a six hundred meter house that we want it. We buy our yachts. We buy our jets. We go on that huge clothes shopping spree. Vancouver Mall, best clothing stores in Vancouver. We get a bunch of nice fucking clothes, nice jackets, nice shoes, nice pants, nice shirts. Because my zero dollar will only bring maybe one luggage with her when I'm here in the airport. The rest of her clothes, she, she donates it to charity or something like that, to a theft store or something like that. Because she knows she's going to go on that huge clothes shopping industry with me. That's why she's going to get rid of most of her clothes, obviously. My zero dollar. Sarah? Yeah. I finally get to look fly, man. When you see me trying to think, oh my god, Ivan looks fly now. He has nice clothes. Yeah, I have nice clothes now. I have nice high end clothes. I'm rocking. My son has high end clothes. We look fly. We walk. We go downtown, go to the club. We look fly. Will you see trying pictures of you making out there? Yeah, you will. Well, I'm at the club. I'm going to get her. She's going to want to make out with me when I, when I dance with the club. We're, we're pretty drunk. We get we drink. We're in the club. We're dancing. And we're making out. And uh, people at the, in the club take videos and pictures. It's trending online. <laughs> yeah. It's trending, man. We walk downtown. We'll close shop. and trending. Everything we do is trending, man. On Twitter. Something crazy on X. It's now called X, right? Everything's not trending on X, yeah. That's why Elon Musk made a very good investment buying Twitter. Because the stock of his Twitter, his X company, is going to go up. Because now the whole world's tuning in to, to X, looking at my trends, yeah. Me, me and I said another. It's a good investment Elon Musk made. Smart investor for him, yeah. More money for him, right? He's the richest man in the world. I think he's worth like $250, $300 million, Elon Musk. Even his network is packaging to the gates. The gates are worth their tens of trillions of dollars. Yeah. The richest family, according to Google, is the Rothschild family. They're worth 20 million. They're not the gates. And the gates are worth more than 20, million, 20 trillion dollars. They're worth probably maybe 50, 100 trillion dollars. The gates are fucking rich. But they're so blinded by their greed, they make a big deal over me making out 20 billion, 60 million off my book. When you have all those trillions in your bank. Yeah, Ivan, because if you have $15 billion in your bank with the keys to the kingdom, that's a lot of power. You can turn that more, you can turn your business into billions easy. Yes. They know that. That's why the trees will come out when I sit me upstairs. I told you I'm not selling. I'm not going to think he's doing like that, sir. Zay's brand is mine. It's not yours. You didn't write the book. And you're not touching my money. There you go. You won't even touch your money. You're not touching my money either on my book. It's my money, not yours. <laughs> Some Zara. Players out. Some Zara. The Zayn's brand is mine, it's not yours. There you go. It's mine, it's not yours. His brand is mine, it's not theirs. Some Sarah.
Who's there? Who's there? Two o'clock guys. So that's why the gate is locked closed. Yeah, they envy my wealth, and they separate me from each other, and cause this mess because they envy our relationship, our beauty, our genetic purpose of the relationship. They envy that. That's why they separate us. And they cause this mess. They made us pay to be together, and they lock the doors on us because they envy our wealth. That's why God, when I came here, when I was born, God gave me and my son the keys for reason. That way, we can open all the doors without some of the gates. The gates are so reprobate. They're never going to let us be plaintiffs because they're blind by their enemy, the Greek. The proof is my sister's another. She sold out, she's only worth $10 million. So then she has the keys to the kingdom, which means the gates duped her and they, 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 they won't even let her be worth $100 million because they're blind by their enemy, the Greek. That's why I came with the keys, so they don't dupe me. I don't have to sell to them. All right, if you sell this, we're going to make you Hollywood star. If I look, man, I'm not selling to you. I have my own keys. I don't need to sell to you. I can, I can market my book myself. I don't need your help. I can market my book myself. I have the keys to the kingdom, man. That's why the fuck would I sell to you when I can market the book myself? I control my own brand. Yeah, I'm not too much like that. God gave me the keys for a reason. That way I can hold my own door. I don't sell the gates. Some Sarah. That's why I'm not selling. I'm not going to do like that. Yeah. Samsara, handsome my scars are going to be the best writing administrator. Those things guys are lucky. And those are for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this show. I made it in one hour and like 18 minute video. This is Ivan Mer. I'm signing up. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed this show. I'll take my shower. I'll put this video. Enjoy the show with you guys. This is Ivan Mer. I'm signing up. Peace, guys. Bye. Talk to you soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this show.